Hi, this video shows the setup which was used to switch on my lever lamp in my recent home automation video. The lever lamp is running on mains voltage, so I needed something to switch it. Playing with mains voltage is very dangerous. You can get electrocuted or burn on your house. Please don't try this at home if you are not experienced and qualified. Especially if you have children around, keep it out of reach. To build a switch I am using a mains cable I scrapped from an old device. Then I got this female connector from the hardware store. When you unscrew it you can see the terminals where to attach the cable. There is no plus or minus. Don't forget to tighten the plastic bracket to prevent the cable from being pulled out. I attached a piece of cable to the plug so we can use it. If we would connect the two cables together we would have a simple extension cable. We need an electrically controllable switch that separates one of the two wires. This can be done using relays. They are designed to switch high current AC lines using low voltage DC signals. Since they are magnetic physical switches, they are not designed to be used for frequent switches like PWM. I got this module from AliExpress. They are really cheap. You can find a link to it in the description below. They work like a lever. One of the outer terminals are connected to the middle one depending on the signal. The signal can be served by a microcontroller. Let's wire it up. One of the lines will always be connected using this bracket. One of the open line ends goes to the center terminal, the second to one of the outer brackets depending if you want the signal to be inverting or not. On the signal side of the relays we have a VCC, ground and a signal in pin. The VCC has to be the same level as the signal. 3.3 volts is sufficient. Now we have to connect the Wemos microcontroller to be able to control the relay. The Wemos will be powered by an additional USB power adapter to keep things separated. Then we connect the module. Ground to ground. VCC to 3.3 volts and in to the pin that you want to control. The input is inverting, that means sending high leaves the relay in the rest position while sending low switches it on. When it's switched on you can hear a click sound and the right LED lights up. Let's test the setup for one of my lights. After the cable is plugged to the mains voltage I don't touch the relay module to not get electrocuted. It works! Unplugged mains again. Now I will put everything inside this small box from the hardware store, which is rated for 400 volts. I need to cut a hole to the side for the cables and put everything together again. The Wemos is programmed with my home automation sketch. You can find it in the links below. Currently you need to use another pin than before to control the relay, but I will fix that. The Wemos is powered by this external USB power supply. One last test using the Wi-Fi. It works. Since I don't want that the mains at the relay pins accidentally touch any other non-main wires or pins, I wrap it around with some insulating tape. You can also probably mess around with hot glue. Thanks for watching, bye!